Hi, my name is Mr. Staley. I'm a high school science teacher and today I am going to be both explaining and demonstrating the processes of diffusion and osmosis. Now for this video and the first part of this experiment, I'm going to be focusing on diffusion. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this jar of water and I'm going to just remove this chair and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about three drops, one, two, three, let's add one more, four drops of green dye into the water. Now I'm using hot water because the harder the liquid, the faster the atoms in these, or the molecules are going to move, which for the purpose of this lab will allow diffusion of the dye to occur much more rapidly. Now notice how the color spreads as the dye molecules move randomly away from each other. This simple experiment is the process of diffusion. It involves the movement of molecules from an area of high concentration, which is where the dye first entered the water, to areas of low concentration, which is the clear water surrounding the dye, which there's still a little bit of it down here. Um, in about one or two minutes from now, the dye will become perfectly and evenly distributed in the beaker and the water will become a single shade of transparent green. Once this happens, diffusion will no longer be occurring because there is no more movement of dye from one area to another. Okay, this is the completion of this video and the first part of this lab on diffusion. To watch the second video and the second part of this lab, which is on osmosis, please um, go to my YouTube channel by clicking Isaiah Ard in the upper left corner, left hand corner. Okay, for the next 30 seconds or so, please um, enjoy as you watch the dye um, completely become diffused with the water.